Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards, that's toy-wizards.com, and I'm back for another spontaneous toy review. And today we will be checking out the new budget line, PCS Collectibles Power Ranger Goldar Statue. I've done a few of these reviews before. The original line of the budget PCS Collectibles Power Ranger statues was Red Ranger, Mighty Morphin, Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, Mighty Morphin Green Ranger, and Mighty Morphin White Ranger. Bought all three at the same time. We did a review on those. I will link in the description all the videos I've done that feature these statues. After that, the Lord Dracon one came out. We checked that out as well. And from there, another four were announced. We'll go over those. Did not pre-order all of them, but I did pre-order Goldar. He showed up yesterday, and so we will be taking a peek at him together. Before we get started, give this video a big like and subscribe to Toy Wizards on YouTube so you don't miss a single one of our updates. Even the box for this one is different, and I honestly don't like it. I was far too lazy to go upstairs into my secondary closet to procure the boxes for my other PCS collectible Power Ranger statues. So I will hope the magic of the internet can find one for me and I can put it somewhere over Mia. Otherwise, editing Lauren will have to go take a picture of the box. <sighs> Is more coffee needed today? I wrote an article on Toy Wizards not too long after the Black Ranger Rita and Goldar statues were announced. I really do think it's nice that we can have these $50 ones that are, you know, obviously they're very light, they're not as fragile, but they get the job done and they really do display nicely. I really like the way they look in my Ikea shelves, in my display. These are a really nice thing to kind of bolster your collection and just kind of accent them. Very, very beautiful. But I wrote a snarkticle which is a snarky article, if you guys never know what I'm talking about when I say the word snarkticle, about just how grotesque the artwork was for the PCS Collectibles Rita Repulsa statue. Repulsa indeed. <laughs> and it's funny because after I published that article, I had some like Power Rangers fans reach out and they're like, here was the concept art and you know, it's in drawing. And it was really, really nice. But when they did the 3D render and put this monster up for pre-order, my god she was grotesque it was just horrible and it's just yeah it didn't look like anybody there's no makeup there's no personality it was such a horrible rendering i know we're gonna review gold art today but i just have to talk about that knee-jerk reaction to that statue because it was such a bummer let her be crazy and show the toys like let the toys reflect that remember what we talked about with baroness and coding let's bring that back to rita repulsa bringing it back to Goldar, which is what we're reviewing today that's honestly why I didn't buy the Rita statue and I'm not gonna buy the Rita statue and it's really a shame because I have Goldar here. I'm debating Lord Zed. I will not buy Mighty Morphin Black and you know, I'm not gonna buy Rita and that's just a shame because she's the OG. She's the OG and I love Lord Zed and like, but the depictions because he's a suit um, are always like so perfect. Back to Goldar. So he came in this box. Oh, they changed the Rita's face. She's on the back. I'll show you guys. All right, so this is the box that Goldar came in. At first glance through this open shiny window, he's looking pretty good. So we'll crack this open and give it a really strong look. I don't like this box. I do like that the PCS logo is large. Can you see him? I still think that the box that Green Ranger, White Ranger, Red Ranger, and Dracon came in um, is nicer than this. I don't know, there's something childish about this graphic design that just takes away from the idea of a classy statue, but everyone is different. If this touches your sensibility, if this appeals to your sensibilities, let me know, I'm curious. I'm always curious when it comes to advertising, packaging, that sort of thing, what appeals to everybody the masses you know let's open this up <coughs> Whoo! aromatic oh he has a sword okay plastic 
plastic plastic all righty yeah this is all the plastic looks like a toy I guess the other ones were too I was just seduced I was like it was a glamour over me you know these aren't resin these aren't polystone these aren't um, ceramic porcelain these are $50 statues which means basically that they are non articulated toys on a base but they are $50 non articulated toys on a base with a damn good paint job let's look at this this is cool he does not have his wings does not have his wings oh it's it's that version of Foldar so here look at his base we have a, like a Goldar coin <laughs> I like I like the three quarter like it's like presidential shot of him <laughs> school picture <laughs> I don't know why it's just amusing me all right but yeah like love that blue that blue paint he's blue um in my opinion clearly inspired by the flying monkeys in the wizard of oz you can tell me otherwise i don't care but like with the blue face and like yeah the the blue face monkey general dude wizard of oz which is one of my favorite movies so i will always reference it as often as i can but look look at the red and look at the knee pads and look at the movement on his boots i really do like that a little singular color on the feet, but I can't say I know what Goldar's feet look like. I just know he's not, you know, a literal um, gold dude like in uh, that 2017 movie that we don't talk about. I really like the claws. I like the pose on this statue a lot. And again, I do really like those. I like the paint. I like the facial details. I like the grunge on the teeth. Here, I'll show you. Can you focus? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can, because you're perfect colors for focusing right now. Oh, I love it. Like, whenever I try to show off a white toy, <laughs> it just blurs and blends, and I just look like a crazy person holding nothing. This is perfect. These are the... Oh, look, I love the black in the glove. I love, again, the blue on the face. This is a cool statue, dude. I'm glad I bought this. That is cool, man. Let's show, I'll show you, Stan. These things also, even though like they sort of, they're like seven inches tall, not including the base, probably 10 inches tall with the base, but they don't take up much space in terms of width. So I can put many of them on the same shelf and they don't weigh anything. So they look really cool, but I may have to dedicate another shelf to, since now that I have Goldar, or maybe put someone away or in another room, you know, but yeah, battle mode is coming soon. Here's the very plastic sword. Uh, craving a little more paint here, but grateful for the I'm grateful for the red dot. But yeah, definitely craving a little more detail here. I want to make sure that we all get a really nice look at this stuff. Since I don't do the toys in a box display while things are spinning, because that's just not my style of review, I want to make sure that everybody gets to see all the details that they wish to see because if you are goodly enough to watch me gush over power ranger stuff then the least i can do is let you look at it there we go give him a good spin i like the i like the way the tail is hung up there i like the straps on the boots and i like that these aren't fragile this is really cool. This is a beautiful statue. And again, fits right in with the rest of them. They're all the same. Do you guys own any of these? And if so, which ones have you chosen? Did you choose Mighty Morphin Black, Red, Green, White, Dracon, Rita, Lord Zed? I might, but now that the Rita has that new facelift, I might need to reconsider and get her and Zed together. But you know, they had a Jewish wedding. That meant a lot to me as a kid seeing that when Lord Zed and Rita had their Jewish wedding I was like representation it made me feel good I know I know it was played for comedy because it's like really iconic with like the chuppah and the chaman nagila and the smashing of the glass like those are like oh I'm at a Jewish wedding like most people can get that but it meant a lot to me back in 97 when I saw that episode for the first time so I might have best man Goldar over here reenact that scene with my awesome new 
statues, especially since I do not have um, any, I don't have the Rita Lightning collection and I don't have the, I don't even have the Imaginex. Like I'm just consistently so unhappy with the Rita, Rita toys that um, since they fixed the face, I will likely go after that one. All right, make sure everyone gets to see everything they want to see here on, on the statue. But yeah, this is a really cool piece and I am very happy that I pre-ordered it. So yay for, yay for an awesome collectible, right? Cool guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. Stick with our site daily for toy news, reviews, articles, listicles, snarticles, editorials, opinion pieces, and I'll catch you for the next one. Be good, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you soon. Bye.